and they're off for the Longines Kentucky Oaks. And there was a skirmish towards the outside and Dreaming of Julia was broadsided as they came out of the gate, had her coming together with Pure Fun and also Princess of Silmar. Meanwhile, at the sharp end, it is Midnight Lucky who spearheads the field into the first turn. Beholder racing in second and then towards the outside, Unlimited Budget is just in third. On the inside, still Sita racing in fourth. Two lengths away, Sunine Girl is in fifth. On the outside, Rose to Gold in sixth, 22 and four for the opening quarter mile. Sees close hatches with Dreaming of Julia behind her. Then to the outside, Princess of Silmar. And a long last down the back stretch is Pure Fun. Racing towards the halfway point in 139th running of the Longines Kentucky Oaks. And the half was in 46 and three and the leader at halfway is Midnight Lucky and Raphael Bejarano but now they are beginning to close up Beholder to the outside half a length away racing in second unlimited budget in third still Sita is in fourth Sunine Girl making a move so too long shot Princess of Silmar around the outside Dreaming of Julia is now being ridden and asked for effort by John Velasquez but is beginning to weave her way through but she still has five lengths to find as they now turn for her in the Longines Kentucky Oaks. Beholder, the two-year-old champion, takes the lead. Midnight Lucky towards the inside, now in second. Unlimited Budget is in third, trying to stay on, together with Princess of Silmar, and then Dreaming of Julia, deep down the outside of the track, down towards the final 16th they go. Beholder, now being tackled by Princess of Silmar. Princess of Silmar for a shock at 36 to 1 in the Kentucky Oaks. Princess of Silmar and Mike Smith, a third win in the Kentucky Oaks for Todd Fletcher, a boil over as Princess of Silmar got up to deprive Beholder in the run to the line.